So here we have some hot water. With the slinky. A balloon with cold water. Now as the very cold water within the balloon wants to sink, it presses on the slinky, giving it tension within the spring. Now I've sped this up. As the water temperatures of the vessel and the balloon become more uniform, there is less press from the cold water in the balloon wanting to sink, thus lessening the tension within the spring, and it contracts. This is hot water. Cold water. So now we'll put in free fall. So when we place this whole thing into free fall, hot and cold. There is no vector of up or down within the system. There is no orientation. The colder, denser does not go down. The hot does not rise. There is purely just the mechanical tension of the spring. A motion vector is required to set that which is up where hot would rise to and down where cold would sink to. It does not exist in free fall.